Today we have very interesting theme. We suggest you to make a casket with a lavender in the brushing technique with burning. This program is interesting because we don't paint and glue over wood, but only tone with various solutions and transparent paints to keep the effect of a living thing from natural wood. Within the limits of this master class, you learn acrylic painting on decoupage. This method will give you the chance to make a decor expressive enough and things which you will create, based on today's knowledge, for certain will be pleasant also to you and your friends. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. We will be engaged in making such interesting casket with a lavender bucket on the cover. This work is interesting, because on it we see very beautiful picture of the wood fibers. Today for work we need both, a gas torch and a steel brush. With their help I will show to you how to decorate the product at once in two techniques. One is called the burning, the second the brushing. I notice that frequently many combine these two techniques in one. After all, actually after burning it's easier to make brushing, though it turns out and absolutely without it. Today we, for example, use color varnish patina and transparent gold paint. And also, today we will be engaged in decorative acrylic painting. In other words, we will paint glued on our casket decoupage fragment. Can consider this program as training, as we will discuss all colors of paints on a palette, and you will need only to repeat painting on a template, for example, on such casket, then to make it independently where you will want. So, we begin with the most interesting process in today's work. From preparation of a product from natural wood to brushing. I repeat, that brushing is an independent process, which consists that you by means of a steel brush clean, in other words, brush off the fibers of wood from a surface of a product and get a relief. In other words, strongly pronounced structure of wood. I, as well as many masters, like to make one more operation, which is called burning, before this one. For this purpose I use a manual gas torch, by which I burn my casket from different directions, and I burn only those parties, which are made from a solid pine, and I exclude the top and the bottom of the product, as they are made of plywood. Such combination meets often enough, and it not only reduces the product weight, but also reduces its cost, that is important, especially for beginning masters. And though burning is not such necessary operation, but it simplifies brushing too much, after all soft fibers are burnt out, and we with ease can clear the product surface of coal. And to do the same with raw wood, you need to apply great force for this, or to use any mechanical adaptations, in other words, you, for example, on screwdriver or on a drill, should fix a nozzle in the form of a metal brush and work with it. Here you should choose what will be more convenient to you to work with. For this purpose it will be necessary to try all variants to stop on one. After you have burned the casket, take such steel brush and strictly alone wood fibers clean off with its help everything that has burned down on your product. I notice that exactly at this moment you need to pay attention to the stuck-together sides of the product and properly process them that there won't be abrupt junction between usual and brushing surface. Though sometimes this effect comes in handy, for example, as on my today's casket. I didn't begin to level the surface on it, and for this reason it looks more volume. I think that you with this will cope both with burning and with brushing. After all, we make it not for the first time, and all operations you already know.
In the variant with this casket, I have decided that I won't glue it over, as I want that it looks wooden. Therefore, I work from above only with transparent solutions. It's possible to use water mordant of any color, but it can get into following layers of toning or varnish and the product won't be such soft in the decor scene. For this project I took color varnish. You can buy this solution as in ready repair and to create independently, having painted usual clear acrylic varnish with a pigment or acrylic paint in the color necessary to you. Toned and grounded surface in a similar way has very beautiful appearance and, by the way, can be unique means with which you decide to decorate your product. It will look elegant and it's not required any other processing for wood. Further, if you will be happy with the work, I advise to put the casket on drying and after it's full drying by means of a grinding sponge or an emery paper to polish the surface, to leave a varnish coat of the minimum thickness to continue product toning. I pay your attention that after you apply the color varnish, the wood structure on the product won't be gone, and on the contrary will look more contrast. Because soft fibers will be painted in light color, and the rigid fibers burnt by a torch become more dark. For the further toning I suggest to use green patina. I apply this solution thickly on the product by means of a foam rubber piece, and then I rub it well that it deeply penetrates into wood. I notice that tone with this part in the solid pine won't make the big work, but you have to carry with plywood. I remind that the bottom of the casket and its cover are plywood. With them we simply work longer than with wood. In other words, we rub a patina more carefully, leaving it here and there on the surface to create effect of its presence on the product. Further, we dry the casket, take a grinding sponge or an emery paper and properly polish the surface to leave on it the minimum quantity of patina, more truly that it will be only in soft fibers of wood. It's important. As a result, we have very beautiful wooden product which decor can be used as base for the further work or to leave this variant as finishing.
Now I suggest to decorate the product with a lavender bucket. I have very live casket for this reason. I will suggest you to work with the decor a little new. We will make a decoupage, but decoupage with the portrayal by acrylic paints, with them we completely will coat the glued picture. I have prepared such decoupage cards from which I, by means of a model knife on a self-repair carpet, cut out the liked image. In the given variant, picture is thin enough and open work, therefore I don't advise to cut it out by means of scissors. The model knife cuts thinly if you work with it in a correct direction, in other words, aside from the beginning of something towards the end, for example, from the sheet beginning towards its end, you won't cut the excess. And the cutting of a fragment by scissors and by a model knife time will be the same. Therefore, I recommend to choose a knife as the tool making it better. If your decoupage card doesn't demand soaking as mine, and about it you should warn in shop where you bought it, at first we apply plentifully by means of a brush on the casket cover white glue, and then from above we put on it our cut-out picture, and by means of a brush by the same glue smooth it out on the surface. After that we dry the product and pass to the following operation. Before we turn to painting, we need to coat the casket cover with the lavender glued on it with acrylic varnish. And we need to make it in several layers with intermediate drying, and then with a grinding fine-grained emery paper or a grinding sponge to polish it. First, it will allow us to level the surface. In other words, there is no height difference between the plane of the cover and the glued picture. And secondly, for those who uncertainly work with acrylic paints, it's very convenient. After all, if something seems to you not so, unsuccessful painting can be cleaned from a varnish that you couldn't do with the paper, and then the product would simply be spoiled. If the varnish has dried up and the cover ideally even, you can finish work at this stage. After all, you already have the casket with a lavender bucket. Certainly, you can see that it's a paper cutting. But for a decoupage it's normal, though if you, as well as I, don't like it, I suggest make a palette for painting. I notice that for similar work, in other words for painting, it's better to take art paints, but they are a little more expensive than those that are intended for decorative works, but to paint with them is much easier, nicer and better. So, for a lavender bucket, we prepare a drop of a dark blue paint. I don't tell you special names of paints, not to confuse you. We will use those paints that you have at home. So, you should have a drop of a dark blue paint on the palette, further a drop of yellow, whitewash and black. This palette is intended for painting of leaves of our lavender bucket. We take a round synthetic brush number one or two and mix together yellow paint, dark blue and white. We have not bright green color and with it we trace the lightest leaves on our picture. We work or with short depths simply touching any places or line them from wider place to thin, raising the brush upwards in the end. This painting is simple enough, as we don't need to invent anything. After all, the artist already has made all for us, and we only need to paint his drawing. Further, to have more dark paint, we add to our green, mix some of black paint, and paint with it more dark leaves of their shady sides. And to add a little light, we make depths by yellow paint with a small amount of green, creating sensation of the sunlight on the leaves. Having finished this stage, we can rest a bit and be engaged in making of a colorful palette for painting of lavender flowers. For flowers painting, we need to take a drop of red paint, dark blue, black and white. 
At first, we need to make a shadow part of flowers that in the heart of inflorescences. For this purpose, I have mixed dark blue paint with black, have got dark blue and have applied it by depths close to the stem. Further, I add to dark blue paint red and I get violet and apply it by short depths on the lavender. After that, we add in mix white wash and with light violet color we paint the inflorescences shined with the sun. And that the flower won't seem flat, I will add various shades of violet, adding there a little more red. It's possible to add some violet depths on the tips of leaves to have on them a reflex from lavender flowers and on it we can finish painting. We need to dry it well and to coat finish in the varnish coat. After the varnish will dry up, I suggest to return to the casket and to finish work with it, considering that on there is already painting. I've decided to make it more elegant, therefore took gold paint and by means of foam rubber piece have applied it smearing on the sides with brushing and on the product bottom directly over green patina. Because this paint is transparent, through it very beautiful looks green shade. Further, it's necessary to dry the bottom and the sides and then to turn the casket to ourselves and to make by the same gold paint a frame to our lavender by tamping method. Further again, there is a drying and only after that we can finish work.
It seems to me that today I have told you everything that I wanted about how to create such wonderful casket with brushing and a lavender bucket. I very much hope that you like this thing, as well as the theme of the program, and you necessarily will try to create something similar by your own hands in the near future to decorate your home or as a gift for your friends. Though I certainly don't think that all of your free time you will devote to similar work, and probably it's not necessary to spend it for this effective but not so difficult technique. But it seems to me that you can easily use some methods and in other kinds of needlework, for example in decoupage on fabric, having changed paints on specialized, you can create an interesting bag or t-shirt, but instead of decoupage cards you will need to use napkins. But I think that you and without me know it. And if you liked acrylic painting, you will train on the glued picture having painted it sometimes. I think that you can repeat it without effort independently, without any stencils. After all, there are no people who can't draw. Simply someone learned, someone just lazy, or any bad man has told you that it was very difficult. And on it I say goodbye to you to new ideas, with all the best wishes. With you today there was Natasha Fochtina. Good luck and goodbye.